Hey there. Welcome back to the beer program. I'm Adam. You know me at the brew head. So right now, what we're going to talk about right now. So I'm going to make a little play today. That's going to follow with all the review of the falling beer, okay? So this is just a little intro, so to say. Then on the next video, so we're going to play next, okay? Yeah! So! Make a pocket journey again. This time, it is the IPA Mystery Pack. That's right. Four Griffin Mystery IPA Griffin Alcohol by volume. Griffin IPU. Griffin Style. I fucking hope so. Because not everybody wants a goddamn hazy beer. You know, just because an IPA is hazy doesn't mean it's gonna be great. But if an IPA it happened to be unfiltered, it's still an IPA. It's a different style IPA. It could be a wet toast IPA. You know, like if you look at Madcom, you look at Nickel Book, uh, Headstock, you look at uh, Great Lake, any of the IPA. You know, every IPA is so different, and this is why I'm really excited about the mystery pie from Nickel Book. So you can imagine. Um, I'm really excited about this, and I don't think a lot of people are leaning towards A, B, T, and D, so, but it looks like the very common winner seems to be B or T. But, I'm gonna start with A, because that's what it's supposed to tell you to do! It's supposed to do step one! Consume the B prototype, label A to D. Then choose your favorite prototype. Then you gotta go on and on and vote for your favorite beer. Now, in the past, they have done that. Uh, Wicked Awesome, Lost in Orbit, all those beers, they made it true and they became the winner. But you know what the world needs right now? They need more IPA. But you know what kind of IPA did the world need more of? What? FUCKING TOAT! Anyway, watch me get into that goddamn thing. Cheers.